Hey guys, welcome back to Bookworm Brie, and today I'm going to be giving you guys an honest book review on the Unhoneymooners. And if my camera starts bobbing at any point, it's because I have it on a stand and the wind is extremely bad right now. So, please don't get whiplash from that. Anyway, the Unhoneymooners. I actually really liked it. It got me out of a reading slump. Um, I'm not much of a romance person at all. Like, I hate romance movies. Cause I feel like they all have the same plot. See, there goes the wind. They all have the same plot and it's just boring. And it, like the second act breakup always like, ugh. I hate the second act breakup scene. Like every romance movie has it. And it's just so annoying and so like cliche. And you're like, oh, I wonder if they're ever gonna get back together at the end of the book. Oh, they did, surprise kind of thing. Um, so I don't really like romance, but this one was actually pretty good. Um, my three favorite rom-com movies is How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, 10 Things I Hate About You, so a lot of fake dating, <laughs> not surprised, and then, um, what's it called? The Proposal, and uh, Blended, and literally it had the scenes from Proposal and Blended in it, like, in The Proposal when she's taking a shower and he's about to take a shower, that whole scene literally happened, and I was like, hmm? And I hate spicy books and all that stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I hate spicy books and I don't like reading that stuff, but it never got too far. I started skipping some st stuff because I was scared it was going to escalate, but it never actually officially did. Um, so yeah, the age rating I'd say this book was for 15 is, wow, 15 is pushing it, but I recommend reading it at 16 because it was just suggestive. And like, okay, now we're gonna go to like why I didn't like it in some areas. Cause she just, the author just included inappropriate things randomly. For example, this is not for a younger audience, but she said, literally like nothing is going on. They're at dinner with people. And she goes, his smile punches me in the vagina. What? And it's just like random stuff like that. Like where did that come from? It was really bad. And it was just like little things like that, that it would just be so random. And it's like, what? Yeah. So, yeah. That was bad on the author's part. No offense. And, yeah. But other than that, it was pretty good. And so, if you like The Proposal and Blended, I highly recommend this. Um, Blended is, like, two people win a prize to go on a honeymoon, but they both have, like, separate families and, like, they have to share a room and all that stuff. And... Um, then there's a scene where they're doing a couple's back massage thing. Um, cause they're like, oh, I signed up to go to a back massage. And then they both get there and it's like, actually you massage your partner. Like that's the exact same thing that happened in the book too. Um, so yeah, I did like that. That was fun. But yeah, I would definitely give it a reread. It was actually really good. I rated it four stars on Goodreads. And I actually mean that. It was borderline three stars. Um, cause like some of the material was like so suggestive and all that stuff. And granted, it was probably like part of the age group sorry I don't know why I'm using my hand so much um it's like was required and most people most of you guys like smutty books I don't but um but the stuff was just unnecessary like for some of the scenes when it was actually like like a kissing scene like that's that's what you expect but like just randomly especially when she like she still hated him at the point and it was just like she was just talking about how repulsive he is and how much she hates him and like he's so ugly and then it just like pulls that line i was like what was that so yeah uh but yeah it was good i liked it reasons why you should read it it's a fun summer vibe i really liked it and it was extremely immersive so if you're in a reading slump i actually highly recommend reading that book because it was fast paced it was funny i actually laughed at some points it was really funny and uh, yeah it was good I really liked it and the drama was so juicy <laughs> obviously I predicted it towards the end and all that stuff like because she just would like mention things that were just like so random it's like oh that's probably gonna be like the plot twist at the end and maybe just like romance books are naturally just written well but like oh. <laughs> I love fantasy but currently I'm reading Serpent and Dove seriously those books have so far been like top tier really good so yeah and I was in a really bad reading slump and then I read The Unhoneymooners and at first I was like oh, here we go. You know, like when you're forcing yourself to read a book, that's kind of what it felt like. Um, but no, it tore, it's started picking up almost instantly. Like it starts instantly and it's just good. 
very immersive, play like a movie in my head, which was good. Which actually doesn't happen as frequently as some. Like, I, it actually has to be like a really good book. Probably because I read like school books all the time and like nonfiction for school. For example, I'm reading this book, which I actually want to get like my own copy because it has like activities and stuff in it. Um, but it's Word Power Made Easy by Norman Lewis. And I actually really like it so far, but it's for school. So yeah, I think this about sums it up. But yeah, reasons I recommend anybody under the age of 15. 15 is still, 15 is still pushing it. But, um, because it's just as suggestive. And also, like, do you really want to be reading romances right now? Do you really want your standards higher? Except for, like, he, Ethan was kind of just a turd. Loki reminds me of somebody that I know. But, yeah. It was fine. I liked it. So I'm like, it was a really good book, and the next one, I'm like, yeah, it was fine. But yeah, it was still good. I think there's like something else about it that I had a comment about. But yeah, it never actually, it, it was all like fade to black scenes. Not that I was like intently reading it, but they just like cut off almost immediately. Like I start flipping the page. I was on my Kindle, that's why I was doing the tap. Um, flipping the page and it would be like chapter ended, like a page later. So it wasn't that much, which was good, but yeah. That's about it. So that's my second book talk romance book I've ever read. The first one I read was Upside of Falling. I love that book. Like that one was so good. And there's like nothing really inappropriate with that. That I recommend for younger audiences. But this one is definitely bigger kid. If you're a big boy, girl, sorry. But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely read the book if you haven't and if you are the proper age. And I would say like, if you think you're mature, but like everybody thinks that they're mature. Like when I was 13, I was like, oh my gosh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm totally mature. And some people would say that I was, like, my grandpa says that I am. Well, now, for my age. And I like, sorry, the wind is so bad. Stay. Mm, probably just making it worse. Anyway, heck, my life. Uh, but yeah, not if you're mature. Immature. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. So anyway, thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, my Instagram today just reached 15,000 followers. And yeah, and I'm just gonna, I've been emailing a bunch of different companies for book promotions and all that stuff. So soon you guys can start getting discounts on books if you use my coupon code, which will be exciting. Cause there's some really cool companies that I've emailed and they have almost accepted it. Like I'm being reviewed for it. And I'm so excited. Some of them are like really special edition books and I can give you guys pretty big discounts. So I'm really excited. Uh, so yeah, follow Mia's Bookshelf if you haven't already. Love that girl. Um, there's a couple other girls. I cannot pronounce their names, so I just won't. Um, I'm just really bad at speaking. But anyway, thank you so much for joining. If you have any video ideas, please comment below. And some of you guys have given video recommendations. I just have yet to do it. <laughs> Like, uh, somebody commented on me and Mia's last book video saying that we should do, like, a duct tape challenge, and we will. We just haven't hung out since we got that comment. So, yeah. I hope you guys are having a great summer. Definitely check out that book if you want a good romance summer read. And, yeah. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.